Hey there, how's it going? I'm here on the island of Mykonos. Amazing, uh, partly cloudy day. A classic uh, Greek church there behind me. I'm sort of up on a, a hill. I walked up from the uh, sea and the little town of Mykonos. I am here in uh, mid-February. It is smack in the middle of winter, but as you can see, not uh, bad weather. It is fairly warm as long as the uh, sun there is shining on you. I'm now going to uh, walk from here down to the uh, little harbor through the exquisite little village of uh, Mykonos, village, town, whatever. It is uh, pretty small, but kind of uh, spread out. And it is truly just like classic uh, Greek island, Kiklades. This part of the uh, Greek islands is in the Aegean Sea. It is called the Kiklades Islands. And it is just kind of ultimate, uh, you know, the Greek island style with the uh, blue and white. The entire town is like all white uh, and blue. And because I'm here in winter, it is low season, and thus there's hardly anybody here. I'm staying in a little, uh, like, guest house down by the uh, water there. The town is like a uh, maze of these tiny little uh, alleys and lanes and things, so you will be seeing those in uh, just a couple of minutes. I'm going to uh, start walking down the hill and give you a good little taste of uh, Greece, the Greek islands and amazing Mykonos. And so looking that way is uh, looking into the interior of the island. And then the Aegean Sea. There you go. A little taste of it. And so this right here is kind of a like typical street, but once I get down into the village, it's going to completely change. You won't be hearing anything like that. The uh, little streets will get very narrow and it will get extremely quiet and peaceful. There's very few people walking around there. There are more cats than humans. But that's only because it's low season right now. Mykonos is one of the most popular uh, Greek islands and I guess it gets jam-packed in uh, the summer and high season. This is my first time to Mykonos. I've been to Greece before, to other Greek islands, and wanted to come here and experience uh, Mykonos, see what it was about, why it was like hyped up as the, you know, classic uh, Greek island and ultimate uh, party uh, beach uh, paradise and all that kind of stuff and it has absolutely met and exceeded the hype just for the the Greekness and the beautifulness of both the island and the village there's no parties going on no clubs it's uh, a bit too cold to uh, go for a swim unless you're feeling kind of brave maybe I'll get a swim in at some point here there it is getting closer the peaceful Aegean Sea. So many little Greek churches. And another one. And another one right down there. And look at that amazing water and that nice little beach down there. And another little church right by the other little church. And so right up here is where you finally leave behind the sort of regular streets. That is a cute little vehicle. And you will leave behind the noise as well, at least when it's uh, low season and quiet around. Back down in here is where you enter the maze of streets and you will get lost even if you have a map. Burger and Steakhouse. Here is where like the tourist zone begins, basically. All kinds of uh, shops. Idea Mykonos Tours. Ilias Lessi, Hair and More. Cuban Cigars. 
rent a bike, auto center, flesh for ink, laundry. My laundry is getting done right now. Cost 10 euros. Suvlaki. But notice it's closed right in the middle of the afternoon. Most of the shops in here are closed now. This one is open. I bought a uh, pastry a little while ago. ATM machine. Now which way to go? I think I came up from this way. Food market there. Taverna Marco Polo. video, then I would uh, show a little bit of the Greek language. I know a few words of Greek. This is my fifth time to Greece. I spent about six months altogether traveling in Greece. I don't speak Greek. I have just uh, picked up a few um, words. So, hello is yasas. That is the formal for hello. The informal for a friend, someone you know, is yasu. Yes, strangely, is ne. And no is ohi. Thank you is efadasto. Or you can say, thank you very much, efadasto poli. Okay, which way to go? Oh, there's the sea, but uh, I'm looking for the little bay that I think is more this way, which is where there are some restaurants uh, that are open, like a line of like four or five or six uh, restaurants that are uh, kind of the only, you know, main uh, restaurants that are open. So simple yet just really beautiful. Kind of nice to see the uh, red for a change. You don't see that so often. Mostly blue and white. The Greek flag. There it is straight ahead. Blue and white representing the uh, sea and the sky is the blue and the white is for the clouds and the sun. And so some other Greek words. The word for good is kala. And then it can also be kali or kalo. There's like the masculine and feminine and I don't know exactly uh, which one to use for which different things, but the word for okay is endoxy. And you will hear that a lot. Say the word for napkin, hartopetzeta. It's like such a big, like dramatic word for a napkin. And I can say the phrase, then ine pola, ala ine arkata. And that means it's not a lot, but it's enough. Good uh, phrase for life. Here we go. By the harbor. This is the old port. The ferries now uh, come in like around the corner up there. And what a scene. 
especially to have it nice and quiet. This is where uh, you can book boats going to Delos, which is a nearby island. I'm not sure which one it is, if it's one of these that I'm seeing out here, but it's a smaller island right next to Mykonos where there are ancient uh, ruins, Greek ruins that I uh, really want to visit, but I'm not actually sure if you can get a boat out there now. So that's one thing I will try to find out while I'm here and see if I can get over there. And look at this water. Looking nice and clear. And so my room is right back in there. Just a like three minute walk away from the water there. And right over here is those restaurants that are open. I'll uh, walk over there now and show them. This one's closed up. Right there is the uh, restaurant that I ate at last night. It was expensive. I had like a pork and uh, mashed potatoes and it was 15 euros, a glass of wine, seven euros. So with bread, and a tip, it came to 27 euros. That's more than $30. But the lady at my uh, guest house said that there's another uh, restaurant here that's cheaper. I'll have to try these other ones, see if they have a little bit better uh, prices. Go where the locals go. And so the statue right here, my uh, guest house lady was telling me that it's a woman who uh, helped to organize the people and fight against the Turks, uh, I think in the 1800s. Turkey is, well, I'm not sure of my exact direction at this point, but uh, maybe it's back that way. Anyway, it's not so far. There have been a lot of uh, conflicts between Greece and Turkey or the Ottomans or you know various peoples in that part of the world and so I thought that I would just uh, sort of uh, dip back into the ooh, nice looking uh, bakery I didn't realize there was a bakery right uh, near me here so that's great head back into the uh, maze of streets here and give just a little bit more of an impression of Mykonos town for a town with so many houses? I don't know, I guess maybe it's basically just supporting tourism at this point and you know some locals obviously but uh, maybe most of the locals live out in that other area where I started the video around the town and the uh, town is more guest houses and shops and restaurants and so then it can handle the influx of tourism in the summer and then it's just dead in the winter.
right, I'm going to uh, finish this video here. Thanks for watching. Lots more coming from Greece and Mykonos. See ya.